So I thought I'd go for a run today. We've got two weeks until Jamie, Paul and myself, we're doing the Yorkshire Three Peaks Challenge in two weeks. So I thought today is a good day to go on a run, Sunday run. I need my trainers, I need a t-shirt, I need a cool hoodie, no, a cool one, and then some trousers. Just, just normal trousers, tracks or bottoms, because I'm running. Here we go, Paul, Jamie. Beautiful Sunday morning. Sun shining. We've got two weeks until three Peaky Blinders are out in Yorkshire. It's a bit cliche as I say it out loud, but it seemed like a great idea to call it uh, the name of our WhatsApp group. This year, I've set myself up three challenges. I've set myself up three challenges with Jamie and Paul. We're doing the three Yorkshire peaks, which is a known route, which is a circular route, and it's approximately 27 miles, and it's very hilly up and down. Once we've done the three peak challenge in Yorkshire, we're then doing the national three peaks, which is in June, and we're starting in Ben Nevis in Scotland. And then once we've completed that, Again, the three of us, we're hoping to do Race of the Stones again this year, and I'm really looking forward to it, which is one of the reasons I went out for a Sunday run today. Service dive run in January. Now, I'm past the point of the furthest I've stopped and head back. That's 2K down. I can't breathe. That's 3K. 3K down. Oh, that's 4K. Non-stop. Okay. Four and a half K. We're heading back. I need to make up half a K. Service I've ever run. My glasses match my shoes. But mankind won't be destroyed. The most I've done so far this month is 4K and I've managed to do a few 10, 15K walks so far in January. Today started like no other, I just went out and I wanted to run. If I'm honest with you, I woke up this morning and I didn't want to go, I just wanted to stop. Um, I wanted to lie in bed. I did lie in bed for a while but then I forced myself out of bed and I forced myself to eat some cereal and, uh, and then I got ready and I went for that run. At six and a half K. This was just supposed to be a quick Sunday run. I started filming um, when I reached 1K, 2K, 3K. Today felt like the culmination of 12 months worth of practice. This time last year, I weighed the biggest I've ever weighed in my life. For me, the biggest challenge was changing my behavior when it comes to giving up alcohol and giving up fast food. My reality is, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a 38 at the time year old dad. I have a partner who works full time, who works damn hard, and all my spare time is either taken up with my two beautiful children, spending time with family, uh, working. So it was very difficult trying to change how we operate because it's very easy to come home from work, pick something out of the fridge, throw it in a pan and fry it up. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that in itself because if you're exercising more than what you're eating, then for me, that's a good stepping stone to, be in, to, to, to live in a healthy lifestyle. But I wanted to do something that was bigger than that. I wanted to do something which was um, better than that. I wanted to change how I operate. So first thing, the obvious thing was to exercise more. And one of the things that I'm very good at is hitting targets. If I know I have to achieve something, I will go out of my way to achieve it. And I will do it in the best possible way. My prediction. I want you, cause I'm Mr. Slim. I'm a firm believer that if you're gonna do something, do it using your own strengths. Don't try and replicate what other people do. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I can't breathe anymore. Oh my god! I've got to 
good. I feel good summed out. So the first thing I did was I signed up to Race to the Stones. I completed Race to the Stones last July, but I knew from January to July that would scare the living daylights out of me. I splashed it over my Facebook account. I splashed it over YouTube. The only reason I mention it is because that was the catalyst for why I made such drastic changes last year. In build up to that, that massively put a footprint on my training, on my exercise. I was the opposite of fit. I was the other end of the spectrum. Uh, I am still above my uh, expected weight level for my height and age. And I've got a long way to go until I'm at my target weight. The last thing you want to do is look at someone who is doing this day in, day out, and they're making it look easy. Because when you go out there, you'll just get disappointed. You will want to run as fast as they can. And when you can't, you will think there's something wrong with you and that exercise isn't for you. And that's not the case. Exercise, healthy eating, change of lifestyle can be accomplished by anybody. And I truly mean that. <clears throat> I can feel myself getting upset as I say it. That's 8K. Uh, no. Is that 8K? What's it? That's 8K. Did I say 8K before? I lost track. I'm going down, I'm going down. That's 9K. Nine. Woo! Non stop. Don't do New Year's resolutions because they're hard to stick to. They're too drastic. They change your behavior too much. At the start of the new year, everybody says, try something that will make you healthier. Have a New Year's resolution. However, if you make them too small, they're too easy to give up. You've got to exercise your mind as much as your body. And I know that sounds like a cliche, and this is a massive cliche video, but these are just my thoughts down on camera. So I tried running, and I was running like all the people I saw on social media. I was running faster than my body and my legs would allow me, my energy levels would allow me. Your brain and your mind will give in far sooner than your body. If you can exercise your mind, then your body will follow. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. 10, 10, K. Ah, oh, I feel good. Windmill, windmill, for da da. too far away so now I've got to run back that's 12k that's 12k non-stop first time I've ever done over 10k non-stop so good. 